Hey. hey everybody, talking to you from the Orlando Ham Fest, Hamcation, down in Florida, and I got a little bit of good news. Um, recently, HRO has put up on their uh, their feed that the analyzers are in stock when they only had a handful of them, but Comet did produce another batch, and uh, I think 10 of the 13 HRO stores have the Comet CAA 500 analyzer in stock now. That's not gonna last. Um, a lot of people have uh, been waiting for it to get back in stock, and it's gonna, it happened, and so people are gonna order them and they're gonna be gone, I would assume, by the end of the week. So if you want it, this is an opportunity to get it. If you're kind of just fam gaining familiar familiarity with the analyzer, we'll just go through a couple of, of uh, minutes of show you how it works. All right, so he's look we're looking at the, uh, the Comet uh, small dipole up in the air. We've got the analyzer uh, band selector over to 40 meters. And we're gonna see where this antenna is in tuned so that we can make some adjustments. We just check, we just choose the seven meter band selector, seven megahertz, excuse me, hit sweep center. And what's happening with the analog needles is going to be displayed on the SWR chart. Here it comes. Now we've got the graph. So if that happens to be where we want the antenna tune, hook it up and transmit. If we wanna make some adjustments to the antenna, um, we, can, we can change over from this uh, automatic sweep to a manual sweep. We're gonna press this button twice and we're gonna go over to the manual sweep. Now, the, the uh, analyzer is waiting for us to chew, to tell us what, it wants to, what we wanna do. So we're gonna find the lowest SWR point. Uh, looking at the needles. There it is. Right there. Now we're gonna press sweep center, and that's gonna lock in 7.05 as a center of our sweep. Now we need one, it wants us to tell it, what's the bandwidth you wanna sweep next? It's, it's flashing plus or minus 50 kilohertz. We can choose bigger, a broader bandwidth, but this is a narrow band antenna, so we're gonna leave it on the plus or minus 50 and press bandwidth. Now, when we set the, the sweep manually, we're sweeping only that 100 kilohertz rather than the whole band. So now it makes it a lot easier to make our adjustments. I'm gonna reach over to the antenna and we're just gonna rotate it a little bit. That's gonna affect the impedance to some degree. So at least we can do a demonstration. And then right up here in the corner of the meter, you can see a little red dot. Once we press the center button, that's gonna change to blue. And the next time we sweep it after our mini adjustment, it's gonna be in blue, which we pretty much just overlaid right over top of the other uh, chart. So obviously our adjustment didn't do much. Let's go back over there. And to move it towards the other antenna, that should give us a little bit more change. Now I'm gonna change the button from, first we were on red, then we were on blue, now we're on green. Next time we sweep it, it's gonna be in green, then it shows some change. We shifted the SWR dip about, oh, maybe about 10 kilohertz. So now we know we're going in the right direction, we're gonna move up into the voice band. So you can overlay the color over color over color over color as you make your adjustments, and then once you get where you want it, go on to the next band. So it's great, it's a great tool if you're adjusting an antenna, you're looking for a problem in antenna, you're hanging off a ladder, you're up on a tower, you're out in the field, you are adjusting your antenna, not necessarily down in your basement, uh, uh, designing an antenna coil, but it's made for people who are hands-on, out in the field, make it really simple. So that's the antenna an common analyzer, and they're few in stock, and if you want one, go get one. Thanks.